previously on Adventure in Arab. Are you excited? Yeah. Why are you excited? Never been to Dubai. After spending 32 hours in traveling, we finally arrived in Dubai at 2 a.m. in the morning. We took a small nap, got dressed, and left for our first adventure. We visited Sheikh Mohammed Cultural Center. We learned about the Arab and Emirati culture, tried traditional coffee and local food, and took a lot of photos. Welcome back everyone. Today is day second in Dubai and total day is day third as we started traveling on March 1st and I think today is March 4th. So basically I think it's a fourth day and early morning Dubai looks really beautiful here if you can see right behind me. It's a little bit foggy outside but it looks really good and when I'm filming myself Paul is filming me. <laughs> and he, Paul come on where are you going? Famous. I'm gonna be YouTube Yeah come here look at this. So. Yeah. When I was filming Paul, my friend, he's my classmate, he was filming me. Did you get a good shot you of me? You're gonna drop the camera, man. No, that's dude, a, I'm holding a, it. Don't a, scare me. That's a long way down, dude. He thinks I can you drop the camera play. here? We spent half of the day learning about development plans and the future of Dubai. We also learned about the businesses, business zones, and rules and regulations for international businesses in UAE. After the meetings, finally the time has come for us to go on a new adventure. Hey, what's your car number? What's your car number? What's your car number? You guys are not excited. <laughs> what's your car number, this group? Give me your car number. What car number? What car? What car? What car? 14. 14. Bring more fingers. We <laughs> What's your car number? 11. 11. You going in one? Yeah, with you guys. With me. This group. What's your car number? Five. Oh, that was high. <laughs> This is day three and we are living for jungle safari, not desert safari, right? Desert <laughs> safari, yeah. We are not in a tropical place. <laughs> and in this team, this is team number one. We are number one here, okay? Just in case if people don't know. I have Andrea, Joe, Beth, Colosimo, and Avi, Avinash. And we have our best driver, Mustafa. He is going to take us around and probably he will let me drive later on. I'm just kidding about that. <laughs> So about one hour of drive from the hotel, we are in the desert. You guys can see behind me, it's all desert and some cars and there are some camels on the back. We'll spend some time here and we will also enjoy the beautiful sunset in this beautiful desert. And yeah, man, this sand, they are kind of moving. They are like, you know, kind of melting on your feet. The entire desert safari was for about one hour and the rides were like roller coaster. Lots of ups and lots of downs. Here I also did something really stupid with permission. I like to film everything and to get this shot, I decided to open the window. And when I opened the window, we were going down and it was windy. And you know the rest. Our entire car was full of sand. Look at me, look at me. I'm so sandy. I, I will clean your car. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all the signs I tried to feel. Upon arrival, we first watched falconry where this tiny little expensive bird tried to catch some raw meat. Later, we had about one hour to explore the desert. We tried not moving sandboard, camel rides which lasted about 20 seconds, and of course, some hookahs. Bumpy, but 
I thought I was gonna fall off actually. <laughs> I wanted to scream for me. <laughs> After the sunset, Tiger presented his remarkable talent in fire dance. I also think Tiger was a fan of me because he was posing for the cameras a lot. Another traditional dance was presented by this happy guy. I don't know the name but he was happy so I call him happy guy. He was creative and he spent a lot. Finally the showstopper came, Elena. She was great and I would say she was the winner of the night. And I also think Elena was my fan too. She gave me a flying case and a heart. Next on Adventure in Arab, we will visit the most beautiful building in the world and we'll take a flight to year 2071, explore the new source of energy and finally we'll visit the world's largest living species specimen collections.